Hello, hi everyone. Welcome to the another video of automation with Selenium in Java. So the topic that we are going to cover is related to weight. So why weight is very important? I mean, if you started with automation, uh, writing automation script, or you have, uh, I mean, all you have you are already automating something or you are new to the automation so there are only two two things which i found are necessary to be understand or understood the first one is like x path and second one is weight your script will only fail just because of these two things there are i mean other thing but 90% your script will fail just because of that. Sometimes XPath is not uh, uh, good or sometimes developer changes anything in your website and your XPath got changed accordingly. Second is wait. Why wait? Because whenever you open any website, you have seen that your website is keep on loading. But what if you have written automation to enter anything and to check anything on the website but what will happen in this case your script will be waiting for the website to be up but your website is still loading let's take the example of this code we have used driver.get to reach this website and open it but what will happen when we and after that suppose i am verifying anything uh, something like is displayed this ele any element displayed any element on this page like calendar is visible something like that but what will happen when you, when i execute it so it mean to say you, your uh, this driver.get will open the uh, website in the browser and your website is keep on loading but your script will be moved to this line is displayed and it will wait for certain amount of time but if website is very slow or your internet is very slow it means to say your it will take a lot of time but this line of statement will not wait for your browser that's why your test case fail and you'll get some such type of exception no such element exception or element not present exception or something like that timeout exception and something like that so to avoid these types of race condition we used to use wait and here we are going to cover implicit wait and second one explicit fail. So let's get started. So most of the web application are developed using Ajax and JavaScript. When a page is loaded by the browser and the element which we want to interact with may load at different times as we discussed already. So let's uh, start with implicit weight. So the, let me, I mean, uh, let me tell you the definition of implicit weight. So the implicit weight in Selenium we used to tell the web driver to wait for a certain amount of time before it throw no such element exception the default setting or default weight is zero so the default weight of implicit is zero this is the interview question so interviewer will ask you about the default weight for implicit weight and what the exception that you will be getting no such element exception no such element exception avoid the spelling mistakes so how we can write the implicit weight so to write the implicit weight or to define the implicit weight we will use something like driver dot manage dot timeout dot this is implicitly implicitly 
bits and if you mouse over on it you will find that there are two variable long time and time unit dot so time is like you are saying your script will wait for 10 second and the time unit is second so it means to say the value that you are you have provided <coughs> is in second but some of you are using selenium java 4 version right now i'm using selenium java 3.11 and you if you guys are using uh, selenium 4 plus version 4.8.2 or something like that then uh, we need to use duration of keyword to get these things so in this case what we have done we have reached to this page and we waited for 10 seconds but what is the benefit of this code so when i use implicitly wait it means to say for each line of a statement the driver will wait for 10 seconds if i am writing something like this driver dot find element <coughs> by dot x path and some x path dot click and for some thing if i have used get text for some of the i have used dot is displayed so suppose in this page i am verifying i am clicking on any element i am verifying this element is displayed i am getting the text of and displayed so when i use this statement it means say your driver will wait 10 seconds for each line of statement it means to say before this line it will wait for 10 seconds and for this line of statement it is again wait for 10 seconds and for this line of statement it will again wait for 10 seconds so your question could be is it going to wait for whole 10 seconds no if your element is appeared within 10 seconds then it will be displayed so maximum it will wait for 10 seconds because we have provided so that the, the, the benefit of implicit wait implicitly wait is like it will wait for each and it will be used for each line of a statement if you have written 10 line then it will wait for 10 line and if this uh, this uh, this line uh, this element appear within 5 seconds then and then then in 5 seconds you will move to the next line if this is this x path is coming in 10 seconds then after 10 seconds you will be moved to your focus will move to this line and if this particular x path is taking more than 10 seconds because it could be a possibility like your website is slow your element is not getting loaded then you will get no such element exception so the benefit of using explicit weight implicit weight is it is used for each line of statement and the default time is zero and if we are going above the 10 second the given time interval then it will give us no such element exception next is explicit weight so in this case we have seen that this line of line or this x path appear in 5, five seconds this appear in 10 seconds and this is coming in 11 seconds it means to say we will get the exception over here but how we can handle it either we can do that if it is coming in 11 seconds i can do this i can mark 11 seconds i think this will work if it is coming 5 then this will work now the time is being replaced by 11 11 
now this will work and there will be no exception but if one of the line is again taking lot of time and it is appearing or it is coming after 20 seconds then are you still going to update this to 20 i think no that would not be a good idea so what we can do so in this case selenium provide us something like x please wait so for particular line of statement where our implicit weight is not working we will be using explicit i mean if i call it in hindi jaan bujkar main us element pe weight lagaunga jo mera within time frame nahi aa raha hai चलिए देखते हैं इसके सिंटैक्स के ऊपर कि एक्सप्लिसिट वेट को हम कैसे आई मीन हाउ वी कैन यूज दिस एक्सप्लिसिट वेट सो फॉर राइटिंग द एक्सप्लिसिट वेट वी विल बी यूजिंग वेब ड्राइवर वेट एंड वेट इक्वल टू न्यू वेब driver wait so when i write something like that you can understand this is a class this is the object this is new is a keyword which used to create the object and this is the constructor so whenever i write driver wait new class and passing anything it means you say we are calling the constructor so this is well written formula or well written thing in java so what we are using so what it used to take it used to take two uh it used to take two parameter first one is like driver let me also write it again driver and second with timing so timing is like the same time unit dot seconds in this case sorry i have provided the unit This is time long time out in seconds so we need to provide the digit so sometime your interview will ask you about a question i can we write something like this but the gist of this is if you haven't write the explicit weight by your own hands then you will never know what is the syntax of that this is again the overloaded constructor so that is a separate thing but you need to know the the how we how to use the syntax of that okay so and this is how we can uh, initialize the explicit weight and obviously if we are using object then we will be calling something like wait dot until until expected conditions dot element or there are n number of method visibility of web element so we can visibility of we can wait for the visibility of this element like this and what it is going to return it will return the same web element once it's visible now you can use this line so this is the syntax of explicit weight for using implicit way we can directly use that let's Uh, comment these thing or execute it and run i will show you the exception that we are getting in uh, this 
implicit weight as well as explicit weight. So uh, one more point in explicit weight, uh, uh, we will get the exception time out exception exception in explicit weight because you have provided 20 seconds and it is not even visible this element is not even visible after 20 seconds so it will throw the exception so we have opened something and something like that so let's use this explicit weight now we will be using something like this let's take the x path of this class image and an part of img tag and as i told you i will be covering this part creating x for the next lecture so driver dot find element by dot x path and the x path of it dot is displayed and something like that that you can use and this will return boolean obviously boolean you can save it uh, you can save uh, or you can directly print it as by so rather than saving it we can directly print it let me i mean save it so that it will be easy for you guys to understand so as it is going to return boolean then i am creating a boolean value of this and printing it i think this would be the right way for the beginners so as by so and it is going to print okay i think this is fine so we are printing it printing the value of that let me close the existing browser so as you can see your uh, browser is getting loaded so that's why uh, weight is required in this case like so if element is accessible with it when you say true but what will happen if x path is not element that is available let me uh, sorry if x path is not there so what i will be doing i will be modifying this x path by one because this will be uh, will not be visible on this on that page so your script will uh, when is your script will reach at this point it will use implicit weight and implicit weight also not Find, uh, unable to find this one then it means to say it will give some exception so i think we are good so let's see what will happen and what all exception we are getting so this will throw an exception and we'll get the exception so let's execute this So it means to say it will <clears throat> browser is open but it is waiting for 10 second to for that element and after that it will give us which exception some exception no such element exception i have created i mean uh, within uh, in uh, in a class i have explained like how to read this uh, console like from where we need to have uh, uh start with of from where we can read this so you can read from the uh, uh, from that element which you know i think if i if i can see i know this is my uh, uh package this is my class this is my main method where and if i click on it it will move to this point it is giving me exception so what we have discussed it is giving no such element exception that is fine okay yeah so we are good so if you remove that then we'll find that now for explicit weight you have to use this again suppose it is not appearing 10 second or 11 second then we can use something like this again over here for 20 second and if that is visible then again we can use these two things over here So let me explain what I am doing. I have used a wrong X path and it is giving me exception. And we thought like X path is correct, but the time it is taking more time. That's why it is giving no such element exception. So increase the time 
because at a particular condition it is getting failed or for a particular element. So we have used explicit bit for that particular condition and uh, we use the same x path like one or you can remove that first off. So let me command this section because otherwise our code will not work. It will throw the exception this point and this code will be unexecutable. So let me execute it again. So right now we are waiting for 20 seconds and uh, and this is happening. I mean this is for everything like we have provided 20 seconds but if element appear within 20 seconds we will get the element and we will do the action. It will wait for 20 seconds and within you can get something like this. So what are the exception I'm getting? Unable to locate the element is not a valid X path. I think I have copied something wrong. Let me copy it from here. So it is giving me exception. It means to say IMGD IMG at the rate and and okay. So I need to use this X part right now. Let me remove this double quote and use single quote. Okay. So I need to put it over here. Yes this this is why it is giving me exception because our x path is not valid let me execute it again and close the existing windows first one two So why this is happening? So you got the element. Okay. So if I modified my X path again, then after 20 seconds it will give me this exception what we have discussed. So let me execute it again. So right now modified the X path by putting one. So here it will wait for 20 seconds for that particular condition visibility of that element. So there are multiple things available in expected condition. This is the code that you can use. Now obviously no such element exception that we are getting. Okay, so I think if I remove this for now, then, then I can I will explain like why it is happening. We use implicit weight, it will go there, it will find that element. So here at the time of finding element, it is using implicit weight instead of that. Okay. Thirty-seven. Yes, it is failing at this point. Need to pass the web element. Yeah, this is expected that it should fail, but
let me check some other element to be clickable by and we can paste the by over here So we need to uh, be very sure what we are putting over here like is this going to take by or is this going to take a web element like expected condition dot there are n number of conditions that we can use but we need to sure what are the parameters of that. So right now we have to wait for 20 seconds. So it will wait for 20 seconds and it will now it is given timeout exception that we have decided. So why that was happening because uh, I mean we, we were using driver.find element and driver.find element belongs to the implicit weight. So it is giving me no such element exception. So by default no such element exception will be there. Just to avoid that we will use implicit implicitly weight. But by using 11 second we are not getting the element that's why again no no such element exception was there so we modified uh, we modified little bit of code using web <coughs> instead of web element as a parameter we have used by that's why find element driver dot find element will be will not be part of this parameter that's why now we are getting this so this is all about uh, uh, explicit weight and uh, if you try to explore <clears throat> or try to do automation uh, and you need a demo site we have created this site demo.textbooktechnology.com and you can start uh, working on that and uh, this uh, i mean you can consider this a live project and if you find any uh, uh, defect just let me know just ping on the channel and we will uh, resolve that so I would request you guys if you I mean if you start finding any exception or any any defect just find that defect by automation and you can use this for your own practice. Thank you everyone have a nice day.